Here's another example of adding component totals or finding component totals. And so we have two here, 6 meters at 220 degrees. So it's 6 meters, 220 degrees. So we got, and we go start on the x-axis and go all the way around. So 90, 180, 220. So that's where we get the, that's where we put the 6 meter line. And the other one is 30 de, or 300 degrees, 4.8 meters. So we're going to go all the way around until we get to three, 300 degrees and then we can draw our arrow. So the next thing we need to do is find out what the, the components are. What are the components in the x direction and the y direction? And so for our left one here, we're going to use the cosine function. And so it's 6 meters, the hypotenuse, times cosine 220 is negative 4.6. The negative right here means it's going in the left direction the left direction. And on the right one here, we got 4.8 times the cosine of 300, and when you put that into your calculator, you get positive 2.4. So that means it's going in the right direction. And so to find the y components, we do 6 meters. We're going to use the sine function. So 6 meters times sine of 220 gives us negative 3.9. So the negative means it's going down or south. And over here we got negative 4.2, so again going down. So now what we're going to do is add up the, the two x's and add up the two y's. And when we add up the two x's, we got negative 4.6 plus 2.4 gives us negative 2.2. And what that means, it's going in the left direction. The negative means it's going in the left direction. And to add up the two y's, we got negative 3.9 plus negative 4.2 gives us negative 8.1, again negative, we're going to be going in the down direction. And to find this distance, we're going to use Pythagoras, so we're going to use a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. And so there we are, and we're going to isolate the variable c, so we're going to end up with the square root of a squared plus b squared, and we put in our numbers, put in our calculator, we got 8 meters, so this distance is 8 meters, and we're leaving it at 8 meters, rounding it off, because our lowest sig fig is 1 right there. So the next step, so there we are, it's 8 meters, is to calculate what is this angle. So we've got two ways. We can calculate the angle right from here all the way around. So it's going to be bigger than 180, but less than 270. Or we can calculate this little angle right in here. And so to calculate the angle, and we can see we've got the answers all there already, but we're going to use the tan function, opposite over adjacent, but we're going to use to isolate the, the angle, we're going to use the inverse tan. And so what you're going to do is um, divide 8.1, divide by 2.2. I'm not putting in the negative signs because they're just going to cancel each other out and go equal. And on this calculator, I don't see the tan, but you're going to have to figure out your calculator. So I just use the little arrow here, and the tan, inverse tan shows up. So I click it, and we got 74.5. So this angle right here is 75, 75 degrees. And so, but it could be going this way or that way. So we've got to put in these words, south of west. Now, what does that mean? So we're going to work backwards. We're going to go west. So we're going west. Then the south means we're going to push south 75 degrees. Or you can write it 255 degrees. And what that means is you're starting here, 90, 80, plus 75. So 90, 180 is right here. Then 180 plus 75 equals 255. So it's 255 degrees, or it's 75 degrees south of west.